Hi Cancer, how are you? I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Cancer. This reading for today, this is for you. This is your next 24 hour star reading session for the Cancer sign. This is for the Cancer friends out there. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Cancer, okay? Thank you so much, Cancer, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, um, Cancer, you know you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Let us see what's coming towards you. What is the message for Cancer, please? What can I get for Cancer? We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation for you guys, okay? This is for the sign of Cancer. What is the message for Cancer, please? You've got the Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. You've got the Nine of Swords. You've got the King of Pentacles in here. You've got the High Priestess. What's coming towards you? You've got the Two of Swords. You've got the Queen of Swords. You've got the Will of Fortune. You've got a Six of Swords and the Hermit card. What is your overall energy for Cancer, please? I'm really picking up that you're quite sentimental, okay? There is a little bit of sentimental, nostalgic, and a little bit of drama in here. Justice card. I feel like cancer, um, I feel like you're, you're going through some sort of emotional instability, okay? But there is a little bit of nostalgic energy, emotional um, imbalance around you you know it could be a result of failure rejection or you were not appreciated or um, you're not getting the maybe respect or the love but there is an emotional imbalance and with the justice card in here I feel like you will be able you will be able to identify why do you feel this way you possibly have identified it now that your emotional imbalance is connected to people and it's not actually you you know your needs and wants and it's not being satisfied by the very people friends or family or colleagues or boss that should help you or support you it's possible that you have identified that or you're about to identify that okay it's not me it's the people around me who's not really giving me the reciprocation that I need. Justice card. You will be able to find it out or you will, you know it now. There is, you will, you, you're the key cancer to restore your balance. Justice card. Okay. Now, let's pick up more intuitive message for you. In the recent past or in the past, you were dealing with some sort of, possibly financial problem, um, possibly you're doing a lot of work. You know, you're doing all of the work for other people. You're working hard and you're not getting the help or the support again from family, from friends, from, from colleagues. And, um, or if this is a relationship, you're doing all the work and someone is taking a credit of all of the work that you've done. So, it felt like eight of pentacles, you're trying to solve the problem on your own. And a lot of people are benefiting with you doing all of the work. And that is where justice card, you realize that this is not fair. Because I'm doing all of the work. I'm not being reciprocated. I'm not being respected. I'm not being appreciated. So it, it piles up in your thoughts. Nine of swords. You know, at night, at night you, th you think and you feel, why do you feel like exhausted physically, emotionally? It's draining. Because you're doing it on your own. It's possible that you've asked for help, but you did not get the help. Or it's possible that you are doing it on your own, but you're not asking for help. 
because the last card from your recent past is the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is very responsible the king of pentacles is committed the king of pentacles is ready to give ready to love it's ready and i feel like that's you but the thing is you're so ready for whatever this is whatever focus you had you have up until this point you are ready you're committed you're a hundred percent it so happened that intuitively your intuition is telling you that the people the person the situation that you're connected with they're not in the same alignment understanding preparedness two of swords the center of the reading you could be dealing with a lot of women you could be dealing with with one man one man and um two younger two younger male for some of you guys but in this reading i really really pick up that you are the one who's more advanced more mature and if this is like work or maybe a relationship you are the heart and soul you are the inspiration you take you know you are the inspiration you are the doer you are the go-getter you are the active one in this situation offer whatever this is you are the main character you are the lead character you run the show um cancer and with the queen of swords in here the reason why people navigate at you or people allow you to just do it on your own or do it the way you want it to be and they're just going to wait for the result. Because the Queen of Swords, you're always waiting for their opinion. You're always waiting for them to help you. You're always waiting for the reply or you always follow up. Like you always do the first move for some of you guys. There's a part of you that you're quite tired doing some stuff repeatedly and you know, at some point, you need someone to reciprocate or to take over or to replace you because it's quite draining emotion emotionally the reason why the people the situation external situation is like this because they feel like you do it better than them okay so if your boss or someone is depending on you or if someone is like just waiting for you um, part of their thinking and feeling and understanding is that you do it better than me, Cancer. And if you keep doing it, they would be complacent. And it feels like it's it's a compliment. It is an advantage. It is something that will make them more secure because you're around, you know. The Wheel of Fortune is here, which speaks about they're very lucky to have you. Your family, your friends, your company, your job. There is someone who is very lucky to have you, Cancer. The thing is, you don't actually mind taking over, taking charge. But at some point, you need some cuddle. You know, like, you need, when you get tired, you need the people, the person that would at least replace you or inspire you too. You know, it's more of, if you keep doing this and nobody replaces you or you don't get some sort of, reward or acknowledgement or a thank you you won't be inspired to do it you know it's it's for example i mean in this reading if you don't get the love if you don't get some sort of appreciation in here what's the point you know you you feel like you're undervalued and i'm seeing you they're very lucky to have you but you on the other hand six of swords you don't feel like you're lucky to have them because there's so much work to be done you know six of swords you might take a break take a vacation or move away from doing this because you're not getting value from the person from the situation and the advice of the universe to you cancer is that think about it carefully because if you resign if you disconnect if you say goodbye if you don't do nothing it will affect the relationship. It will affect the friendship, the family, the romantic situation. Because in this reading, you're the glue that puts everyone else, you know, like you bind them. You are the bridge to the gap. Um, 
think about your next action instead of moving on, ignoring, disconnecting. The advice for you is to think about it and do an alternative plan. Maybe temporary take a break. Take because I'm getting like temporary take a break from the connection. Slow down a little bit so they they would feel that you're missing in action and they would do something something that would trigger them to notice your needs your wants it's because it's, it's not being reciprocated you can do that or you know contemplate think of your feelings thinks think of your feelings really go through what you feel what you want and voice it out you know compose the right message the right communication Use your logic and wisdom and, of course, use your heart on top of everything because in here you're so kind. Um, use all of the resources you have to make one decision towards the people, the person, the situation. Because I feel like they need some shake-up, you know. You cannot be there for everyone else, for, for everybody. Someone needs also to be there for you. So they need a shake-up. So instead of moving on, disconnecting, you might as well plan to air your side, to say something, say something, Cancer. It's, it will recalibrate. It will be fair for them to know whatever it is that doesn't make you feel appreciated. Like, it would be good if you communicate what you feel rather than disconnecting. Because for some of you guys, the person, the situation, the external energy that you're dealing with, they don't have any idea that you're tired or you feel this way. Unless you speak it out. You, you speak out. Hermit card. Okay. So thank you so much. Cancer for being here. Thank you so much for your support. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I'll see you very soon. You have a great day. Bye bye.